Hi friends, in this tutorial, I will show you, how to set up web hosting, for the first time. You can see here, I have purchased web hosting, from onohosting.com, and I have bought a separate domain, from Hostinger. As you know, I have already told you in the previous video, I have cheapest plan on monthly basis, which costs me around, rupees 30 per month. So, I will go to client area, and will be logged in. After successful login, you can see, I have a service active, click on this. Now click on monthly hosting plan. You can see the option in left side, login to cPanel. Click on this. Now, our cPanel dashboard, will look like this. You can see, we have variety of options and features here. But I will show you, important option to you to activate or, make the website live. If you are new here, on my YouTube channel, then please like and subscribe. Thanks. So, first I will upload, source code of website, which I have written in, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP and MySQL. Kindly go to file manager option. This is our file manager area, where I can manage all files related to hosting. You can see this folder, public underscore HTML, so, click on this and open the folder. So, I will upload the source code of my website here, you can see, I have already uploaded, the source code of my website here. In order to make your website live, you need to upload your source code here, in this, public HTML folder. Kindly remember, anything we will upload in this folder, this will be hosted on our domain, and it will be displayed on the mobile or laptop screen, whoever access the website address. After uploading the source code successfully. Now the next step is to point a domain to this web hosting. In this step, I will connect this web hosting to a domain. As I have already told you, I have bought a separate domain from Hostinger. So, kindly go to hosting a cPanel. You can see, I have already bought domain here. Click on manage option. Then, you get the option in the left side, domain server name. If you will open this hosting a dashboard, there will be a default DNS, set by hosting a here. Basically, you need to change the domain name server here to new DNS of web hosting. This new, domain name server, in short DNS, will be provided by web hosting provider. You have to copy that DNS, and update here in hosting a panel. With new DNS. After updating you may wait for 24 hours to get it fully updated. You can see, I have already updated my DNS here on hosting a, which means, my domain address will be reflected, to my web hosting server, whoever access this domain URL. And then, the website started working which I have hosted on my web hosting server. As you know, I have hosted it on, onohosting.com. Let's type the website URL. When someone clicks on the URL, then it will display my website, and it is working fine here. The next step is, setting up a custom, and professional email. As you know, I got free custom email features in this hosting plans. Then, in order to set up, let's click on this option, email accounts. You can see, I have already created a custom email account. To create a new one, click on this option, create. Now, you need to set username of email address, and domain will be your website address. You can see here. After inputting the password, click on create. Then it will be created a new one. I have already this one, let's click on, check email. Then click on, open. You can see, email services has been opened. It has same user interface like, Gmail and Outlook. You can use this custom email address on your website, so that you can get user feedback and request easily here, in this email dashboard. Now, your website will work perfectly, if you will follow these steps. If you want to set up SSL for your website, which I have got free in this plan, then you need to activate this SSL. Just scroll down and, go to SSL option here, click on this, you can see, we get 4 types of different SSL options here, you can choose any one, but here, I will activate this first one, which is already recommended to use. And after selecting this SSL, click on save. Now, SSL will be activated to your website. This means, the protocol in your website address, HTTP, will be changed to HTTPS, which is a positive thing for your website. 
I hope you have found this tutorial useful and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to know how to point a hosting a domain to 000 web hosting, then watch the next video.